Hey everybody, we got another exciting, exciting episode of Oh No, I've Been Cucked. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna get started with struggling to cope. A few months ago, my partner and I were having deep chats about life, etc. And she disclosed that she thought she might be Polly. <laughs> that, that... That never just comes up in conversation. You know that bitch was thinking about that for a long time. You know, suddenly, suddenly, I think I'm Polly, everybody. We love each other unconditionally. And as part of that, I don't want to ever hold her back from finding her true self. Her true self has a bunch of wieners in her. <laughs> hey, I found my true self. I can't be... A, my true self without wieners in all my holes. So I encouraged her to read widely and find out more. My ethos is that I don't think anyone should have the right to prevent someone from saying what they can or can't do with their own body. Well, what about yours? She's going to be giving you all kinds of worms and diseases. <laughs> you got to hit the bricks, little feller. Especially as that seems to be a specialty of my gender over hers. <laughs> Good. I hope this guy gets fucked over so bad. <laughs> I hope bitches steal everything he owns. Leaving him a diseased filled husk. <laughs> Quivering on the sidewalk. Because fuck this guy. The problem is, I'm pretty monogamous. And I and try as I might, I've been really struggling with her beginning to see a male friend of hers. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> she wasted, you know, these bitches, they never waste any time. They're like, oh, cool. You're fine with that. Hey, I'll see you next week. We have very open communication, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be helping me deal with it. I'm really happy. For her as she is discovering her identity. Her identity plus many wieners. That is making her feel confident and happy and truly herself. <laughs> they all sound the same. They all, all these assholes sound the same. It's creepy. It's like a cult. Is polyamory a cult? Maybe we're on to something, guys. But on the other hand, I can't stop thinking about them together. Porking in my bed next to my Star Trek poster. And it makes me feel anxious, sad, and redundant. When she told me they slept together. <laughs> Wait, you guys were just talking about polyamory. <laughs> He's, she's already banging him. I wasn't expecting it. And I felt cold run through me. Which kind of flies in the face of what I said above? It's selfish because this isn't this isn't just about me, and I'm sure a ton of it is just years of societal pressure and primitive male jealousy. <laughs> These assholes deserve everything they get. Everything. But I don't know how to deal at the moment and is beginning to impact me at work. <sighs> Any advice on what to do? Does it get better with time? I can't see my life without her and it's eating me. <sighs> Thank you, X. <laughs> Was that even a guy? I've never seen a guy speak like that in real life. <laughs> that has to be like, I don't know, some like bitch who gets off on this. I don't know. I don't know, but what an adventure, guys. If that's real, that's real bad news. And hey, I'll see you next time or something, everybody. Bye.